Come with us now on a journey through time and space. To the world of the mighty world. Uh, Dave, how, how does it feel to bring this work to Australia, dude? How's it, how's it feeling? I mean, it's amazing. I'm absolutely blown away. And thank you all for coming and for buying stuff. It's, yeah. I, I mean, I knew Oz, Oz fans have always been really special. They, there's something about the humor that just hits with Australians. Um, but I didn't realize they were all still watching it. <laughs> this, is, this is your first time out here since touring the show here, right? Is that correct? No, I come out a lot because right. my wife's Australian. Oh, my apologies. Oh, but um, I don't, we did, uh, I came down to do Auto Boosh with Nolan Julian in 2001, I think. And we did a little bit of Sydney and then we did a run at Mel in Melbourne at the festival. Um, but we haven't come down, yeah, Noel's come down and done some stand-up with Luxury Comedy, I think, and a stand-up tour. Um, but we've not come down and certainly not brought the, these pictures down. Um, I did, I did like a little behind the bush exhibition in London probably about 10 years ago. Right. Um, and I've not really got them out since. So it was nice when Steve contacted me and said, hey, do you want to bring the, uh, a new exhibition down? I was like, yeah, let's do it. I'll, uh, I'll come down and see the family while I'm at it. And, yeah, <laughs> and now the family haven't seen me at all because I've been here every day. <laughs> so, we? so when we were chatting uh, on the podcast a few weeks ago, you said you have like thousands of photos. Mm. How do you choose these photos? How do those? It's hard. I mean, they're always favourites, but I wanted to kind of bring some new ones. But I'm finding new ones all the time. That makes me sound like I'm really unorganised, but... Like a lot of this was shot in bolo costume or in something other costume. As funny as that, I wish someone had got a shot of me taking the shot because sometimes I think one of them. There's some naan bread. I think that I think old Gregory's shot there is I'm I'm naan bread. bread when you shot that. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, that I grab stuff, take it, and then at the end of the day, I'm either delirious, passing out from being too hot or um, drunk. Yeah. And, uh, so uh, uh, films were being thrown in drawers, neg sheets were going into files, DVD like full of images that I'd taken digitally were going into racks and as much as I kind of knew where things were chronologically, I'm still finding stuff like that, that shot up there of Nolan Rich. Oh yeah. Which I actually don't know where it is, I think it's in Swansea. Backstage, shout out Swansea. Show. Shout out Swansea. Um, yeah, that uh, that was a recent find. Beautiful, beautiful. And just to go back to Bolo for a second, let's have a round of applause for Bolo. What? How? Thank you and fuck you. Oh. How? Shit, I have my kids on here. <laughs> oh, <they're> here. <laughs> so there are kids here. They're not my kids, so I don't care. <laughs> What, what was the most special thing about playing Bolo, do you reckon? I... <laughs> it was a lot of pain involved. <laughs> a lot of discomfort. But he... Um, How did you develop the character? Well, like, what, where, where, how? I told the story on your podcast of when we were trying to... So what happened, the first season, uh, the Mike Boosh one in the zoo, the Bolo episode isn't actually me. That's an animatronic. <laughs> that's an animatronic suit which cost about 50 grand a week. Because <laughs> it included the, the, the professional uh, monkey impersonator inside it. And it was all animatronic. Yeah, it was Peter right. And that's your salary for a year. So <laughs> yeah, well, a month. And um, so, yeah, he, uh, and also every time the mouth moved, the servos would be going. Zzz, 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 zzz. So then they had to Noel and Julian had to AD all of the vocals oh, yeah, over the yeah. top of it. So it was a bit of pain. Yeah. But they loved the idea of having a talking gorilla in the show, especially in the live stuff. So, as usual, they were like, "Oh, Dave will do it." You know, it's an uncomfortable physical thing, and we can cover his head up. Let's get Dave to do it. <laughs> so they got me to do. They they got a load of pr um, prosthetics made. We had a makeup artist come in, and Nolan Julian was sat with Paul King, who was our director, who's now gone on to do his life, made more money than the rest of the world, <laughs> doing Paddington, and uh, just done the uh, Wonka. Yeah. Um, with out. Simon Farnaby. Shout out to Simon Farnaby. He plays uh, head of Pie Face Records. In oh, wow. Yeah. 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 Still, character. to this day, yeah. his best role in life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Harold Poole. Yes. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so I sat in the makeup mirror with Christine Cunt, who was the 
uh, makeup wise, she was amazing. And then uh, you've got, you've got, I called her. Christine Hurst said, what? C-A-N-T. I'm just going to pretend like you didn't say that. C-A-N-T. Okay, yeah. It's not an easy one to say. But after she did this to me, I did call her that. Noel and Julian and Paul were sat in a line waiting for me to come out with these prosthetics off and I was going to read a line to them and just as all the makeup and the nose was on and the wig was on um, she went, you know the monkeys don't have eyebrows and she just went shh, shh. Oh. Off with the eyebrows Off with the eyebrows and I sat there looking in the mirror and went I'm not really sure that's necessary yeah. <laughs> yeah. and I went out to Noel and Julian I didn't even deliver a the line they went, yeah it doesn't look right, we're going to do a mask <laughs> And sat down and she took all the makeup off and I was like, I haven't got any fucking eyebrows. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the eyebrows that made the decision no. whether it was going to work or not. Yeah. And then you had to walk around like a serial killer yeah. for... Yeah, my girlfriend couldn't look at me and Noel went, Noel went, Dave was furious but nobody could tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was fun. So, but I did love playing. I did some like charity stuff as Bolo. It's quite funny. People go, oh, we've got um, like... <laughs> Uh, there's a, a, you know, Deutsche Bank, like massive global bank thing. They they got in contact with the agents and said, one of the CEOs is a massive Bush fan. <laughs> so weird. And he was like, uh, I want Bolo to come round with me and try to get um, all of our staff to donate a day of their wages to our charity of the year. So we're in like the London head office, which is huge. And I'm Bolo, and I'm getting in the lift. <laughs> and people are just coming in on for free, and like, uh, and I'm going up or down. <laughs> Some people would go, ah! Some people would smile, but some people would just go, uh, up please. Just be on their phone. And I'm just going, having a good day. <laughs> so bizarre, that's bankers for you. <laughs> so dead inside that they don't even know this going on. So as well as playing, um, like, a, a whole heap of iconic characters on the bush. Wait, let's roll. What? Right, let's go through a few characters that you played. So it was Bolo. We had Nam Bread, obviously. Black Frost. Shout out to Black Frost. Yeah. Anyone love Black Frost? Yeah. Street Sports Calendar. Street Sports Calendar. <laughs> He's over here. So can you see on um, Tony's appointment that... I love that photo. See on the wall there's a little printout of Extreme Sports Calendar. <laughs> little fact, see the surfer? That's my picture of my brother-in-law surfing. Oh wow. And he came to the opening and I was going, you know you're in this exhibition. And he's going, what do you mean I'm in this exhibition? <laughs> So you also, as well as playing these characters, had a camera on you the whole the whole fucking time, basically, right? From the get-go. I can't believe you've missed out Joey Moose. He's oh, my yeah, bad. We haven't done that. Okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Who else we got? Joey Moose. Let me Jack show you how I operate. <laughs> yeah. was, Joey Moose's, like, attitude was based on um, a guy who owned the Hi-Fi bar in Melbourne that we did the run at. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Brad Pierce. He used to be a big AFL fan. Um, Brad Pierce? Yeah, Pierce. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brad Pitt owns the hi-fi bar in Melbourne. <laughs> I was one of the mod wolves. I was one of the ape guards in Ape of Death. Um, Jacques Le Cube. Jacques Le Cube. Oh, oh, yeah. oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. I about it. Yeah. It's almost as if there's some Bush fans in the house. Yeah. It's like Julian says, without these pictures, he can't remember anything that we did. Yeah. So it's like that. Without the fans, I can't remember any of the characters I played. <laughs> um, you don't have to do this. Feel free to say no. But do you want to give us a quick Black Frost? Oh. No, you know, that's the worst. I mean, I think I need not only that very high, like, techno going bang, but yeah, I also yeah, yeah. need a cod piece that blows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So unless you're willing to provide that. Oh, I've got, I've got some cigarettes, pass. actually, in my... Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, can put my head, I can put my head between your legs and blow out my cigarette smoke. It'll be the first time, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> Too shy. Um, so, okay, so you also had a camera on you the whole time. Yes. Pretty much the whole time. Yeah. When did it start? When did you start taking photos? I mean, really early on, like, because uh, I, I met Noel at uni at um, art school and then I moved to, we moved back into London in Hackney and we used to do a night in a pub called The Hen and Chickens at a theatre above, a small theatre, and Noel used to do stuff in there with um, Julian and we'd play, put on a night um, and they'd kind of do ad lib and get guests in and do stuff, music and sketches, and then they'd use the second half of that, sh that two hour show to kind of start to pull together a live show for the Edinburgh Festival and then that would then subsequently, like that, that material would subsequently end up in the TV shows and the radio shows and stuff. So yeah. I, I was there pretty much from that inception and I was taking shots. And there, there are shots from the Hen and Chickens that 
none of them made it here, but um, were you were you a camera nerd, so to speak? Were you like obsessed with oh, I've got I've got to get this particular camera. I need this lens. No, no, not so much. Or was it more I about? Had, I had two really simple print film cameras that my dad gave me. My dad and my father-in-law gave me a Pentax and a Mamiya, 35 year, um, 35 mil print film. Um, and yeah, I wasn't like, I wasn't like trying to get the you know medium format blah blah blah. It was yeah. more about capturing the moment, and I think you can do that with anything to a certain extent. But like, it was more about having it and an understanding that you were in a position where you could be recording something. And back then, you didn't really, I didn't really think that. But yeah, you weren't imagining this no, exhibition. I wasn't saying you know in 2023 I'm going to come and stand mm. in this M2 gallery with two guys that I've never even been born yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And have cigarette smoke blown between your legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can all drink. Yeah. But do we really drink? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, okay, this might be a, like a bit of a. I don't really know. I'm talking about question. Are they, is everything film? Do you always shoot film? No. Like, no. I reckon it's what probably percentage? about half and half. Okay. Maybe a bit more digital in this lot. Um. Yeah, you can kind of tell. I think. I don't them. reckon I can. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you're not looking, me. probably. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, so I know, I'm not going to go for each one, but like the the Noel in Luna Park, that's film. I love that photo. Yeah, I love yeah, that that's photo. That's a rock star photo. That yeah. one. Um, the one underneath it of the nanas, that's film. Mm. I want to ask you about that photo. Yeah. Are they random nanas? They're random nanas. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> there was another. So that was in um, Scarborough. That was Arctic Bush after Edinburgh. That before they came down to do it. They did it in Sydney and in Melbourne, and uh, there was another like really odd. There's a there's like two theatres in that in that theatre, and I think there was some old Nana show in the other one. Those Nanas are gorgeous. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, if you I get know. a second, go and look at those. Mate, you should see really what you should have seen what went on later that night. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> in the bolo costume. It was, it was Nana again. <laughs> Beautiful. I hope my kids aren't still here. <laughs> or my wife. <laughs> um, speaking of the photos, it, do you have a particular favourite? It, like, that's probably really hard to choose, but is there one that sparks the most joy for you, in the words of Marie Kondo? <laughs> I don't think I can choose one. I don't think I can. Okay. I, um, uh, there's like, I, but I but said if you this, had to. I've said this, <laughs> if you held a gun to my head? Yeah. If I, um, I don't know, I said this to Steve, and I think I've said it to you, is that I find it really hard to judge them because I like certain ones from a photographic point of view. I like certain ones from a character point of view. I like certain ones because I can remember what was happening at the time. So it's really tricky for me to kind of pull one out. I mean, I could probably pick four of my favourites out. Yeah. But I won't. Okay. <laughs> respect. You've got to respect that. <laughs> I also forgotten, and half of them are being blocked, so I can't see. What but about did, this one of Rich? Is that is that like a shining? Yeah, that's uh, that's called Come Play with Me or Us. I can't remember. But yeah, that was in that was on tour, and I just saw that corridor in his blue suit, and it was quite a blue thing, and I thought it would be a good option to do the twins. So I just got him to stand there, and then stand there, and then I put them both together. And yeah. that's, this is like my film corner because that was me trying to be Raging Bull in Killer Room. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Quite yeah. proud of that shot. I mean, I do love that photographically. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's yeah. mad. I mean, you must feel, I, I, I'm assuming, I, I know as well actually, but you must feel bonded to the dudes for life, right? Like, you guys oh, went yeah, through such a special period together. You created yeah. something truly unique and wonderful and magical together. And it's, it became a worldwide. Yeah, I mean, how, how close to your heart are those guys? Yeah, brothers, know? total brothers. We we still in contact with each other. Weirdly, we we've only just at Noel's birthday party is the first time we were all together in the same room for I think we think about ten years, twelve years. Wow. I mean, obviously COVID kind of up a bit, but we all live in different parts of the country. Although Noel and Gillian do our neighbours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's so and good. They kind of sometimes wave to each other out the window, which is like is not coincidence. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like so close, so close. That 2008 tour was so insane. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a miracle. We are still friends, but yeah, we are. <laughs> Have you got a lot of photos that you just love but would not be allowed to oh, show? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I could end careers. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm holding on to them. They're in a safe just in case. I mean, yeah. Yeah, times get really hard. Yeah. Come with us now on a journey through time and space.